Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chateau de Medivis part two. And I'm so glad if you're able to join me again today on this beautiful day, beautiful weekend on this reenactment event being held here this weekend. And it will carry on throughout the Chateau. So today we will be going inside the Chateau. And if uh, you have joined me previously on part one, then thank you so much for coming back and joining me today for the next part of this video. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to go and check out part one of this video. Um, I wouldn't want you to miss it. It's been such a fantastic weekend, such a brilliant event. And um, I can't wait to share part two with you. And so the current property owner, Monsieur Charon, has been very busy indeed since he acquired the property. In 20, 2004, he began the process of restoring the chateau, the um, reception area, the grand reception area, de l'honneur of the chateau as well as the grand escalier, the grand stairwell. He has been also carrying out much work on the moats, on the exterior, on, in the gardens and the chapels and the towers. So his work has been pretty intense and it really shows. And Monsieur Charon, Monsieur Charon, he has joined the Foundation du Patrimoine. It's a campaign to preserve and renovate historical buildings and his chateau and um, they have been doing a fantastic wonderful job as we can see in the gardens and uh, the surrounding terrains of the chateau are looking beautiful and the inside has equally had a lot of work done and the salle de l'honneur the salle the reception area of the chateau is around 600 square meters in size and it offers all sorts of visits to schools and um, all sorts of entertainment uh, events and things that go on here. They're all cultural events. And the chateau is situated near Argentan and Arras du Pain. And Arras du Pain is very beautiful. It's not too far away from here and I will do a visit on there coming up soon. I, I've said this before and I will be doing it. And the chateau sits in 133 hectares and it is built on the foundations of a pre previous ancient fortress. And the owner decided and chose to develop a collection of um, various paintings and sculptures globes and atlases um, and ancient collections, private collections that he himself has collected over time. And he has added his collection to what was already also present in the chateau. And uh, it's just made this beautiful, beautiful collection of, of old globes and, and beautiful things to see. And this castle houses one of the largest private collections in Normandy uh, of various different things. And uh, also one of them are the beautiful light fittings, the chandeliers, the lustre, and um, they actually do have an evening visit. They have an evening coming up in October, which is like a nocturnal night visit. Uh, where you can come to experience the chateau at night time with all the lights lit up everywhere in the chateau 
with all these beautiful light fittings. Here we also have a beautiful cabinet of curiosities, which is very rare and beautifully decorated. I believe this seems to be ebony wood and it is all hand painted, obviously handmade, which dates around the 16th century and it's absolutely fascinating with all its little miniature kind of cupboards that it has and hidden little drawers and things it's just absolutely beautifully done so as we can see the chateau de medevi holds a beautiful unique very ancient collection of old globes and atlases and maps and it is believed to be one of the oldest and biggest collection of globes and atlases in Normandy and even in France. So it's a real treat to come and witness these beautiful globes, this lovely collection. And um, to be honest, I've never seen a collection like it before and it really is quite amazing to see. There are also a collection, there's some old treasure chests, uh, Spanish treasure chests that are dispersed throughout various different rooms. There is also an old prayer book which dates back to 1470 and which is actually on display uh, in the study area. So since 2004, the current owners have put all their energy into bringing the castle back to life and restoring its original splendor. Decorated with elegance and authenticity, Medivy presents extraordinary collections that will take you on a journey through space and time. It does have an absolutely extraordinary collection of different various things which really do make you travel through space and time and takes you right back to the 16th and the 17th century and it's yeah it's beautiful. Now today is a particularly busy day and as you can see filming is actually quite challenging. It's quite difficult to get a good angle and a good photograph or anything like that because there are just so many people around today and obviously they're all you know enjoying the, the beautiful great this exciting events going on um, but it does mean that it's extremely busy 
So, uh, and it's very, very hot. And the, inside the chateau, it's extremely hot. So today I am doing my best to get the best pictures, the best videos that I can get, the best shots. So I hope you enjoy it. But I do think it's probably definitely worth a second visit to this chateau when it's a bit calmer. Ça m'arrive. <rire> ah oui, ça marche. Oh, C'est super. Ça va, ça prend, mmh. euh, Mais c'est dommage que ça va être là. Oui, si vous voulez vous poser aussi, utiliser. Euh, euh, vous utilisez du poids. Oui, c'est notre parent. Je ne sais pas où est-ce que la. Ah oui, voilà, il faut faire ma toilette euh, le matin. C'est ainsi que je la fais dans cette chambre jaune. Donc je prends une couleur de toile. La toilette. Un morceau de toile ou une ouvrage. Je ne sais pas où sont placés les éponges. So the current property owner has been a globe and atlas atlas collector and the oldest ones that are here date from the 14th century. Now also inside of uh, the collections of this chateau we can also discover a large collection of 44 rosewood boat models and they are installed in an old renovated stable in the buildings of the castle stud farm and um, there's some real must-sees. So this room exhibits 44 models which range from prestigious boats such as Le France or the Titanic to boats which have enabled the discovery of countries or even boats used by scientific explorers and fishing boats. The oldest replica dates from the year 820. This fascinating collection of globes and atlases are called Carrie's Globes, which come in celestial and terrestrial pairs. Thank you. 
3, le chevalier de l'Ordre de Saint-Louis. Revue des troupes. Monsieur le Chevalier de Saint-Clair, je vais donner lecture de votre serment, après quoi vous promettrez jurer sur ce serment. Moi, Monsieur le Chevalier de Saint-Clair, j'ai reçu la lettre écrite à Versailles le 24e jour de janvier de l'an de grâce 1761, et j'ai appris que le roi souhaite de recevoir Chevalier de l'Ordre de Saint-Louis. Il m'a demandé a demandé pour cela le lieutenant général ici présent pour vous faire recevoir au sein de cet ordre. Monsieur, maintenant vous êtes adjugé et les droits de sa majesté à ceux de sa couronne envers et contre tout. Que je ne quitterai jamais son service pour autre dans celui d'un prince étranger sans sa permission et agrément de sa majesté par écrit. Que je lui révélerai tout ce qui viendra à ma connaissance contre sa personne et l'intérêt de son État. Et je garderai exactement les statuts et règlements de l'ordre de Saint-Louis auxquels Sa Majesté ma grève et m'honore de la qualité de chevalier. Et je me comporterai en tout comme un bon, sage, vertueux et vaillant chevalier. Je jure et promets de garder et d'observer inviolablement tout le contenu de ce serment. Je vous fais chevalier. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me today on today's video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, we went round all the rooms that were open to the public, so um, it was more of an outdoorsy uh, visit today with the reconstruction that they've been doing. And it's been fantastic, it's been brilliant. We have loved it. It's been really hot, but gosh, everybody turned out and they did all a fabulous job and made us all really proud. It's just amazing how well prepared they are and they do this every year and um, it just get, gets better every year. I came here last year and it's even better this year. And um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Um, I will be taking you on more adventures and visits and um, yeah, anything else that I can think of that might be of interest to you. And um, <coughs> yes, thank you to all my, my new viewers, my new subscribers. And I'm just gonna watch the end of this um, knighthood and um, we're gonna probably, uh, yeah, go and get a, a refreshment or something. Take care, everyone, take care. Um, have a great day, have a great week. See you really soon. Enjoy the video. And until the next time, I've got a really nice, lovely, beautiful chateau lined up for you uh, for the next, next video. Um, okay, leave me any comments below. I will leave any information and details in the description below also. And I'm going to go and cool down. Take care. Bye everyone.